The scariest game ever comes to PS4 this week, and it's free! The week ahead, in association with Insert Coin Clothing. Hello everyone, I'm James Jarvis and welcome back to The Week Ahead, where we bring you tomorrow's gaming news today. Coming up, we've got all the week's new releases, a staggering update for PlayStation Plus members, and a look ahead to the biggest events on the horizon. But before all that, we've got some chilling news for PlayStation Plus members. That's right, brand new PlayStation 4 horror game Outlast will be free for PlayStation Plus members on the 5th of February. This first-person survival horror puts you in the shivering boots of Miles Upshur, who, much like us, is incapable of combat. You see, unlike some recent horror efforts, Outlast isn't about fighting. It's about running through a pitch-black asylum, cowering in cupboards, and trying not to soil your loins. So, if you fancy crawling around under beds with nothing more than a night vision camera, or as we like to call it, Friday night, be sure to check out Outlast this week. And if you've got PlayStation Plus, and if you haven't, you really should, we've got a spectacular month coming up. Check your instant game collection now, and you'll find the excellent Metro Last Light, a progressive shooter about post-apocalyptic despair and boobs and the amazing Bioshock Infinite, both for free. Vita owners will also be able to get their fix of staggeringly huge historical brawling with Dynasty Warriors next. You'll also be able to get your cartoon hands on Mod Nation Racer's Road Trip. Vroom! In terms of reviews, our big one this week is Fable Anniversary, which is out on Friday the 7th. We can't wait to see how well Peter Molyneux's West Country fantasy adventure has aged, if only so we can get reacquainted with all those comedy accents. Now it says here to say, Hello there, chicken chaser, in the style of a medieval farmer, but I'm not doing that. Maybe I just did. You decide. Just make sure to keep it CVG for the full review when the game is released later this week. And if you can't wait until then, you can click right here to watch the first 15 minutes. On to events next, and we'll be getting our first hands-on with stompy shooter Titanfall this Thursday. This promises to be one of the biggest games of the year, and we'll have fresh gameplay and a preview up as soon as we can. If you like big robots, big guns, and big jumps, you won't want to miss this. And if you don't, well, then I'm not really sure we can be friends anymore. And we'll finish with something a bit cryptic. If you're an Elder Scrolls fan, you need to check the channel out this Friday. We've got something massively exciting coming up. And we can't say any more than that, or the Dark Brotherhood will visit us at night and cut off our soft bits. However, as ever, we've got all the usual awesome stuff on the channel this week. There's more insider info with GTA 5 o'clock on Wednesday, and our GTA Online livestream takes place on Friday at 4pm GMT. We've also got a new top five on Thursday, written by my hero, the dashing and muscular Matt Elliott. He's got strong hands and, you know, such strong manly hands. And in case you haven't guessed, he also writes this script. On to this week's release dates. First up, we've got Adam's Venture Chronicles on PS3. Adventure. <laughs> Adventure. Get it? Ah. This rip-roaring 1920s yarn bundles together all of Adam Venture's games, and it's available exclusively on PSN on February 4th. Assuming anyone reviews it, we predict middling scores of around 61. After that, we've got the chilling Outlast, coming to PS4 on the 5th, which, as you'll remember because you're awesome and you've been paying attention, is also free for PlayStation Plus members. A crucial combination of being free and a bit spooky means we think this will review quite well. Expect Metacritic stores of around 86. On the 7th, we have the PC release of Cold War comedy adventure Jazz Punk. Picking a score for this would be like plucking a number completely out of thin air since we know almost nothing about it. So let's do that anyway, for a laugh. 72. Also, on the 7th, we have our biggie. It's Fable Anniversary on Xbox 360. This HD makeover of Peter Molyneux's promising the moon on a stick adventure game was always going to be slightly divisive, and we think it won't have aged well. Nevertheless, expect a nostalgia-friendly score in the low 70s. We're going with 73. That done, let's find out how we did last week. We'll get Recoil Liberator out of the way first, since we haven't found a single review for it yet. We're taking that as a sign of our predicted score of 63 was exactly right. Likewise, with Loadout, Rimmed Capsule and Octodad Dadliest Catch, there are no scores on the doors yet, so we're making it 4 out of 4! Go us! 
That leaves us with the only game released last week where we actually have a score, and that's Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. We predicted a proud, powerful 89 for Lara's rebooted reboot, and we weren't far off. It's currently sitting on an average of 84 for PS4 and 86 on the Xbox One. Boom! And given that this week sees the re-release of Fable, here's a related fact for you. The game is infamous for promising all sorts of things rightly considered impossible at the time. And it's well known that for a long time it was called Project Ego. We're resisting the urge to now say anything mean about Uncle Peter. But before all that, the game had a significantly less impressive name of Thingy. Which, if we're honest, would have been a much better name for Fable 3. <laughs> oh yes, have that. That's all we've got time for you this week, but thank you for watching. And if you fancy getting your hands on this Parappa the Rapper inspired t-shirt, it's available right now on www.insertcoinclothing.com. Click the link in the description now to head over there. And as a special gift to you, you can use the code CVG0315 to get a 15% discount at the checkout. Have an excellent week. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next Monday for another look at the week ahead.